and my girlfriend of over 30 years, Jane. Um, although she hasn't really contributed to my career. No, no, I'm saying this is, this is sort of all me. In fact, thinking about it, she has done fuck all. Hello, Tiny Tim. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I bet it looks even worse from that angle. Keep going. <laughs> right. See? Yeah, no. <laughs> There's a body in the boot of the car. Right. Who do you call for help and why? Gordon Ramsay, yeah. Kate Winslet or Ross Kemp? Oh. Winslet's out. OK. <laughs> With Kemp. my back, I need a, a big, <laughs> strong bloke to help me. I was in a restaurant, right? And uh, uh, it was a lovely restaurant, right? It was nice and quiet. I'd eat about 6pm, so it's nice and quiet. And uh, the waiter came over, and um, every time he sort of walked back and forth, he just went... <laughs> 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 Ramsay would try and cook it. <laughs> <laughs> Take your shirt off. <laughs> Gordon, put your shirt on. <laughs> it's no. not a kebab, Gordon. This, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop drawing attention to yourself. <laughs> um. Kids are scroungers, aren't they? I mean, from day one, it's all me, 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 isn't it? <laughs> Feed me. Clothe me. Pay for my chemotherapy. <laughs> Ricky, can we look at a picture of you in your pop career? <laughs> Which one's which? <laughs> I'm not embarrassed by that. I'm embarrassed by this. <laughs> Everyone's going, what the fuck happened? You're on trial in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna happen. <laughs> right. Who do you choose to be your defence lawyer right. and why? Right. Steve Carell. Yeah. Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Or Stephen Merchant. I think Steve Carell. I think you've chosen wisely. He owes me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do this? No! All right, stand next to me. Right, right. Stand next to me. Right. Stand, she's right here next to me. Yeah. Right. Which, which one's the American? <laughs> <laughs> Jane thought she'd made a new friend, but it was just a shadow. <laughs> Jane thinking about making new friends. <laughs> Jane is looking so happy because her new friend hasn't walked away yet. <laughs> but does she not know you're doing it? Does no, she not, not think, where time. is he, she, where is he? She sees the tweet. <laughs> I love English graveyards. Yeah, they're great. That's a reminder. Well, it is that it's finite and all the things we care about now mean fuck all. They mean mm. nothing. The We're... things that people have got furious with you about. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. the fullness of time. Oh, they love me when I'm dead. <laughs> we, we talked about nothing but our balls for about six. <laughs> Is that true? And here comes Mr. Bennell with his big balls. <laughs> <laughs> and here comes Mr. Gervais with his suspiciously round balls. <laughs> you know, that's why a comedian should be fat and old and ugly. Because if you're, if you're young... Speak you... yourself. No, not you. No, not you. No. <laughs> No, what I mean is, what I mean is, it, I've died. Why have you, Come no, on. no, I've really done it. <laughs> Just found this photo of Jane when she was little. <laughs> <laughs> there had to be a gift. You must have given her a gift after that. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what being in a relationship for 30 years does. <laughs> I mean, there's no better thing in the world. Not a car, not money, not a house. A dog, it's fucking amazing. It's 15 years of joy and then terrible sadness. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your names and, and where you're from. My name is Daniel and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And why do you want this job? I want this job because amazing. Thank you. And I get paid. That's exactly why I took the job. <laughs> <laughs> one, one little girl just went to me, are you married? And I said, no, but I've been with the same girl for like 30 years. She went, why don't you propose to her then? <laughs>
<laughs> and then another little girl said, you should get her a ring, cos you ain't that special. <laughs> um, we were outside in the graveyard, I think Bob, Bob was having a cigarette, right? And our Uncle Mick came along, and we hadn't seen Uncle Mick for, like, about 20 years, right? And this old man, he went, hello, boys. And Bob sort of looked at him and recognised him and sort of went, Jesus, like that, right? And then Bob looked around the graveyard and said, is there any point you going home? <laughs> <laughs> time a journalist says that how much is a pint of milk, I'm going to say, here's a grand, run and get me one. <laughs> <laughs> what have I got? What have you got? That's all I've got on me. That'll do. Look. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. He's actually taken it. And then he came up to Bob's window again, and he had one of those sort of mirrors with a stick on it, just looking yeah. under the car like that. And as he did that, his helmet fell off. Yeah. And out of the helmet fell, like, 20 cigarettes. And the copper just went, oh, just being nice. He just said to Bob, I bet you always wonder what we kept under our helmets. And Bob went, I knew it wasn't f brains. <laughs> Someone said to me once on Twitter, without a god, um, you don't believe in god, then why don't you just go out and rape and murder as much as you want? And I said, I do, which is not at all. Yeah, yeah. Because I have a conscience, why would I, if, yeah. if, if, you're, not do if you're not murdering someone, because you think God's watching you, that, that's, you're not a good person, you're just scared of the consequences. <laughs> I don't care. Don't. No, don't worry about being dead. So, uh, um, do you, like you, you don't know about it. That's the best thing about being dead. You don't know about it. It's like being stupid. It's only painful for others. So I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't... I don't care. Go oh, yeah. to the pharmacist oh, because, I mean, they're hugely underused within the Underrated experts. They are the experts yeah. in side effects in all medications. So unless you're really You can't do a prostate well. exam, though, in boots, can you? <laughs> 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 do a lot, though, can't you? Last long I looked, your prostate wasn't a medicine. <laughs>Yes, she, yeah. she makes bread from her yeah. yeast, yeast from a certain part of yeah. her anatomy. <laughs> that, and she also makes rice puddings out of um, uh, <laughs> yes. uh, her own uh, breast milk, right? Yeah. Both those are true stories. True stories. Oh. Yeah, not it's people I not people I met, no. Are you sure? It's not, it's not restaurants I go to. <laughs> <laughs> um,